Here we're collecting sap from our maple trees. Turns out they're a, a mix of sugar and silver. And we just took two liter bottles, cleaned them up real good. And we have wire holding the caps up and some eye hooks in the tree and cut off got some cheap pens and cut off the ends take them apart clean them up and they work as a, a starter not bad for first year it's dripping pretty good that's a 5 16 pen inside a 3 16 hole which is about the same size as what the uh, carpenter wasps and mason bees would normally tap into the tree anyway so oh, that's pretty cool they don't even know what hit him. And we've gotten eight gallons so far today, and this is his third collecting. Fourth. Fourth, okay, fourth. Well, then are we past eight gallons? Maybe about nine. What did you collect earlier, the third much? Four and a half. Because it was four and a half, and it was three and a half. I've done two and a half since then. Oh, so that's ten and a half, and then this is... here. See the setup. We were boiling them outside or inside but condensation is building up a little too much in the house so we took our big huge water canner brought it outside. We have to stick across the top to stop foam when it gets that high. It was all the way to the top. Cooking it down. We'll skim all the foam off when we go to actually boil it down to sap. Right now we're just trying to evaporate as much off as possible and then we will take it inside and boil it down the rest of the way down to syrup where I can watch it closer. And I'll show you the other one we got up here. We have a tree on basically three sides of the house. So there's four trees all together and having in each side when the sun comes up one will be fuller than the other and then by the end of the day the other ones will be fuller but we get a more balanced amount of our maple or sap. Here we have some more that look like they're going to need to be emptied again soon. Then we have our lovely chickens running around. Our grass hasn't started coming back yet this spring. Might have to seed it with some stuff we got. But here, over here, we have our lovely Mr. Soup, our daddy bird. He's kind of our mascot. We have four daddy birds. And uh, all kinds of them. We have silver wine dots. We incubated last year for the first time. So we have some mixes of some Easter eggers and wine dots that we call Kana dots. This here is one of the Easter eggers. Most of them are going through uh, their molt, but they're still laying pretty good. That was with my <laughs> one of my Easter eggers, Dusty. She was the only one that loves the snow. That light tan one there was the only female we got when we ordered from fry pans from um, Cackle hatchery. Uh, we were in a fry pan special and ended up with one female so that was pretty nice because we didn't have her, her type of breed yet. So we put, we kept her. She saved, got saved from from being come meat. There's another, there's a golden wine dot. They call it technically black laced golden wine dots. And uh, he's another daddy bird. We have two others, see if I can find them. That whitish one over there is one of our Kana dots. Her mother was a white Easter egger. Most of them lay an olive egg or kind of a, a sea, sea green. We do have one that lays kind of a bluish 
Oh, there, um, walk around over here. Another daddy bird. We're not quite sure what he is. He's one of the freebie exotics we got. Um, but normally he has feathers on his feet. I don't know if he's picked them off or what, but he does have bluish feet and coloring similar to an Easter egger. So we're wondering if maybe he's half Easter egger and maybe half Cochin. And oh, we have Deanie over here, little Houdini. She's molting as well. Black and white back there. She's a, I think a Sultan breed. She's our little broody one. She loves to just sit on the eggs. Let me see if I can get her close up here. They really like this bush back here. She's the one that's mostly black. Kind of hard to see her. But she is such a pretty, pretty bird when she's got all of her bushy, she looks like a little, kind of a shorter ver haired version of a rock star. And with all the snow gone now and the fact that they picked all the weeds out of here, this was all full of um, wild raspberries and just general junk, uh, growth junk, not junk junk. But now that they've done that, we actually find that, oh my goodness, there's a lot of trash. So that's the next on the to-do list now that we can see it all. And this was a, we took a fish house, converted it into a coop, cut out a section of wall that we have to take away yet and added on a greenhouse section so that they can have more natural sun. And we have to finish getting that foot away. And I think that's my update. So I'll see y'all later, lovelies.